ABR3 Collector, back finally with another Marvel Legends um, body mold tier ranking video. And this time I'm on the fan favorite uh, Sunfire body mold. And uh, this mold is very um, divisive for me. I mean, I love the articulation on this body, but there's, there's some really egregious scale issues with characters on this body mold. Um, let's just get started here. First up, um, the very first usage of this body ever, we have Sunfire. Um, so the Sunfire body mold is great for characters who are about 5'10 to about 6 foot. Anybody taller than that should probably be, because the Bucky Cat body is slightly taller than the Sunfire body, like, like very, very extremely slightly. Um, if you're taller than 6 foot, like 6 foot to 6 foot 1, maybe you go Bucky Cat, and then taller than that you'd go Spider UK, or you'd go uh, Grim Reaper body, etc. Um, but anyway, Sunfire here, he's a 5 foot 10 tall man, he's perfect for his own body mold, and... Honestly, Sunfire, I'm putting an S tier because he is a really, really, really excellent user of this figure. Could he have used extra alternate hands and stuff? Absolutely. Um, but uh, he didn't have them, but it's okay. Um, Sunfire, really great. I think he's also one of the first usages of the uh, of those fireball effects. Like Iron Fist might have been first and then him, but I mean, still, that's pretty cool. Um, on to a more recent release of uh, the Sunfire body. We'll go with Despair from the recent Doctor Strange wave. And Despair is on the whole opposite end of the spectrum there. Despair is going down in D tier because Despair is a very large being. He's usually drawn about six foot three-ish. So really, he would have been perfectly fine on the uh, Grim Reaper body mold or the Spider UK body mold. Probably Grim Reaper because he's usually drawn pretty thick, actually. Um, got an idea now, actually. I might swap him and Cloak. I gave Cloak a bad rating in the Grim Reaper video. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. Because Cloak is a short guy, but he's on a big, tall body. And Despair, yeah, maybe I'll put maybe I'll uh, put Despair onto a Cloak body. That would be cool. Um, so, next up is one of the, like, fan-favorite Marvel Legends that people love. Um, I love this figure a lot, too. Um, it is Bullseye. And Bullseye, um, Bullseye is taller than Sunfire. He's about six foot. You could argue maybe he belongs more in Bucky Cap, but... But um, he, he, he makes great usage of this articulation from the Sunfire body. Um, so I might put Bullseye in A tier. But he is a fan favorite of mine. I, I, I love Bullseye a lot. He probably he, he can go in S tier. I don't think anyone will complain about Bullseye being in S tier. Um, next up. So let's just get the elephant out of the room here. The, um, the new retro Spider-Man body is being included in this. I made sure I checked. The arms and the legs are exactly the same on the Sunfire body and the retro Spider-Man body. Um, so he's being included. The torso is different. I'll give you that. But, um, so first, so I'll go with the symbiote Spider-Man. And all reason I'm doing this now is because there's so many, um, Spider-Mans in this list. I don't want to put them all in the same, you know, section. So symbiote Spider-Man, this figure, um, changed my opinion on this retro body. At first I was, I, I was, um, I was more on team pizza Spidey. I wanted Spider-Man being skinnier or whatever. Um, but this figure changed my mind and now I want all my Spider-Mans on this body. I didn't get the original retro Spidey on this body, but, but anyway, so symbiote Spider-Man, it's honestly going up here in S for me. Um, actually, no, I'll put him in a, just because his logo is odd looking. Um, he, S, S I'll reserve for like the, the top, top, like best, um, with no, like almost flawless figures, you know, but Spider-Man, yeah, his, um, I think the symbols on his hand, the, the logos on his hands are technically the wrong shape, and the, the symbol on his torso is not the shape I prefer either. So I'll go A tier with Symbiote Spider Man. Um, he is still a, a pretty great figure, though. Um, on to another character that uses this body mold a lot. This is Deadpool. Um, and Deadpool is a. He, he, he makes good usage of this articulation scheme, but Deadpool is a bit taller than the rest of these characters deadpool is about six one and he is usually drawn pretty tall and pretty uh skinny not skinny but um he's usually drawn taller than spider-man and so him being on the same body mold as some spider-mans brings him down and this specific deadpool i love it this is from the sasquatch wave it's a great figure um but he only has swords so he's gonna get a little bit lower of a rating than other deadpools might and because his scale is not like egregious he's not like way too short he's only kind of short um i'll put him in b tier um for sasquatch wave deadpool then here's, let's get back on the Spider-Man train real quick. Um, here is Webman. And Webman's a figure that I don't think anyone asked for. But he's not a bad figure. But by the time he came out, the retro Spider-Man torso was already like in full swing. So you'd think, you know, it being a Spider-Man, they put it on that body. But, you know, maybe they don't want to put the work in for Webman because he's not an important character by any means. So Webman, um, well, he's not bad. He's not a bad figure by any, by any stretch of the imagination here. But he's not a great figure either. Um... But Webman, I think I'm going to put down here in C tier 
not because of the quality of the figure. It's mostly just because of the character. Um, the figure itself, perfectly fine, perfectly passable. Um, I think he's decent. I don't own it personally. It's not part of the 616 Marvel Universe, so I, just, I skipped it. But yeah, I'll put him in C tier. <sighs> Next up here is another character that has been used on this body mold multiple times. Um, we have the Human Torch. We'll go with the first release of this figure. Um, Human Torch, I mean... Did he, did he, does Human Torch really need butterfly joints that badly, you know? Um, I think he would have been perfectly fine on a Bucky Cat body mold. I My favorite Human Torch, like Johnny Storm Human Torch figure, is still the um, Walgreens exclusive one. Um, so really, I don't feel like Johnny really needed to be on this body. But I mean, he doesn't, he's not bad on it. He's fine. I mean, he's he's the right scale and everything. It's just, did he, he, I don't think he really needed the Sunfire body. Um, I think he, he, he could have been perfectly fine on a Bucky Cat. But yeah uh and this but this specific costume for human torch is why he's gonna get a lower ranking he's gonna go seats here just because um this is a fantastic four costume that i personally never wanted it could be your favorite human torch costume for all you know fantastic four uniform for all i care um but for me it is it is a c tier next up is the first actual peter parker to go in this body mold um and it's the gamerverse ps4 spider-man and this figure um well, it was a huge pass for me i only collect comic figures so i usually only have comic figures in my rankings and uh, this guy, unfortunately, is not a comic book figure. And it being a Game Reverse figure, it really doesn't fit in with the rest of the Game Reverse figures on your shelf. Because the rest of the Game Reverse, Game Reverse figures are like unique body molds and have all kinds of access and like have a bunch of unique sculpts. And this PS4 Spider-Man could have benefited from that. And it doesn't have that. So I think it had very few accessories too. So PS4 Spider-Man, you are going D tier. I know it's really like soft after figure too. So oh, let's go with a controversial pick for some people here um, from from my perspective, um, we have Silver Surfer from the Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer has been used on this body three times. Um, and he is a huge scale issue. The Silver Surfer and his, his listed height and how he's drawn in the comics. He's a very tall being. Um, Silver Surfer is supposed to be six foot five. If you know, like scaling, that's like only an inch shorter than Thor. Um, we don't, I don't need his figure to be that tall. It's okay if it's a little bit shorter than that, but he should definitely be taller than a Spider-Man. And he is not. Granted, like you know, he does have a lot of accessories, and uh, even though the surfboard sucks, um, and you usually pose him flying, so that also helps with his uh, his scale discrepancy there. But really, he's he's way too small, and he unfortunately is going D tier. Um, like the, the new Vulcan body, while it's 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 slightly taller than Bucky Cap, it's still not actually tall enough for Silver Surfer, but it's closer. The Vulcan body would be a much better choice for Silver Surfer in the future, um, but unfortunately, we have we got Silver Surfer now, and he's on this tiny body mold. And really, he should really really what we need is a body mold that's about Hyperion height, but skinny. That would be good for like a Loki, for a uh, Silver Surfer, for um, I don't know Sleepwalker maybe. A Sleepwalker is still too short for Sleepwalker, but it's closer. Um, other tall characters I can put Adam Warlock on there, um, etc. Fire Lord, who we'll get to in a minute here. Um, that would be a good body mold like, that for Hasbro to make, but they're apparently not doing that anytime soon. Um, so next up is um, a figure that you know we thought was we, we thought it would get reused for a uh, a different version of this character, but we have the all new, all different white costume Spider Man two thousand ninety nine. Oh, by the way, this body mold has been used forty one times, so not quite on Bucky Caps level, but pretty often. Um, and Sunfire, I mean, I mean uh, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. It's actually debatable whether this mold is called the Spider-Man 299 mold or the Sunfire mold because they came out like really, really close in time to each other. Um, I think Spider-Man Spider actually came out sooner, but um, there being previous Spider-Man 299s, it made it easier to just go with Sunfire body. Plus, there's too many syllables in Spider-Man 2099. But um, yeah, we all thought they were going to make the newer uh, um, 2099 Spider-Man on this body mold, and they didn't, which is weird. But this figure itself here is really decent. Uh, I'll put it B tier. It's not a costume I really want for Spider-Man 2099, um, but it's perfectly fine as a figure. Um, maybe he should have came with his, uh, his, his boot blasters. Um, that would have been a really nice accessory for him, but he didn't have any accessories. So that's why he's going to go B tier. Um, yeah. Characters who should have had accessories and didn't here is Morph from the Age of Apocalypse wave. Um, and Morph, I mean, I like Morph. He's a good figure. And, uh, he's one of the few times that this body mold got like, um, sculpted on boots and sculpted and new sculpted, um, gloves. And, yeah, um, that's pretty unique, but he came with nothing. He has no extra hands, no extra alternate heads for Morph, a character who definitely changes his shape and stuff like that. He really should have those accessories, but he doesn't. Um, so Morph is going to go B tier. As a figure, he's fine, but he really should have came with more. Another figure should have came with more. Maybe not accessories. Accessories are fine, but 
This is the scroll army builder, the scroll infiltrator, is that what they're called? Um, and this guy, I mean, it's cool. It's the first ever army builder that uses um, the, the 29 body mold, and which is which is great. I mean, are there some fire body molds? Um, which is great, but I don't know. Uh, this body, I, I look at this figure and just it looks so naked. They painted on that like that collar piece. When really, if they would have just taken the collar piece from Loki and molded it in the, the grayish black color the bluish grayish black color and put that on their neck that'd make them look so much less naked and make them look so much better as a figure i actually made a mold of that and i have casts of them with uh with that on their neck um but it makes them look so much better as is they're, they just look naked and it's kind of just disappointing um they come with some great accessories though so that might get them a little higher rating but yeah they're they're really kind of just kind of just look naked um and it's really too bad that how hard it is to get these figures you only get five and I would love a huge giant scroll army and it seems like I'm not going to be able to get that. Here's a character that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with this figure. Had no accessories though, so that brings him down. But this is Northstar from the um, the Alpha Flight box set. And he's really decent. Like he's just, you know, a, it looks like Northstar and he's the right size. Northstar's 5'10". This body mold's perfect for Northstar. Um, I'm going to put him in A tier. I think he's perfectly fine. Got a black and white theme going on in A tier. Maybe we should put Bullseye there, huh? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, perfectly fine figure. Um doesn't really need many accessories because you could, could always use more like effects or something, but you probably would give him the bubble ones, which doesn't matter. So, but yeah, North Star, definitely a good figure. I like him. Um, I'll go eight here with him. Then we have, here's another um, controversial pick here. This is Retro Vision. And Retro Vision looks really good. He looks like a really good figure. Um, but just like Silver Surfer earlier, um, really should be on a taller body. Uh, not as tall a body as Silver Surfer, like the Vulcan body or or the Spider-Man UK body would be perfect for Vision because Vision's about six three, should be taller than Captain America or maybe six four, six three, six four, pretty big tall guy. Um, and this is the only Vision figure that's not on the Bucky Cat body. Like the most, all the other Vision figures, comic book wise, on the Bucky Cat body, and uh, which is still too short for Vision, but it's slightly taller than this. And I think I put Vision in C tier on those, but he's gonna go. Uh, you know, D tier for me. Plus, he has no accessories at all, except for that useless Ultron head. Um, so yeah, Vision, unfortunately, is going D tier. Again, you can make him fly; it makes him look less uh small. But really, um, it's too much for me. He's, he's he needs to be taller. Um, I also like I also prefer a, a matte finish on on a Vision costume. But yeah, um, unfortunately, Vision is a D tier. Let's brighten the mood a bit. The very bright figure. This is Living Laser. And Living Laser is one of only a very small handful of villains actually get put on this body mold. I mean, Bullseye, um, I guess Scrolls, uh, and Despair. Um, but Living Laser here, perfect use for this body. He's 5'10". He's um, a man of pure energy, and he has this really cool look. He really stands out on the shelf. He's going S tier. I think Living Laser is a fantastic figure. I think he looks great on this body mold. It's not. This is not the preferred look for Living Laser that I got. Um, but he's uh, he's definitely not bad at all. So I'll he's great so um maybe could use some better effects um but i mean he's pretty good i like him haven't done spider-man in a while so here we go here's retro spider-man from the well the retro spider-man wave the wave one and uh i mean he'll, he'll go a tier i guess um he's about to get replaced as best spider-man the marvel legends line pretty soon i don't have this figure still i was going to buy him and then they announced the new one so uh yeah not not going to get retro spider-man anymore but yeah, he's, he's a tier people love this figure and it's introduced us to this body mold um I, I, I can't I can't say from personal pref, from personal uh, reference on this one, so I can't say a whole lot. But I'm sure he's an A tier figure pretty pretty easily. Um, next up, we got Deadpool again. This is the blue X Men costume Deadpool, and I guess some people were asking for this um, because it's a remake of a previous older Hasbro figure from the two pack with Warpath. Um, it's it has more accessories than Sasquatch Deadpool at least. This is not a costume that most people wanted, but I'll put him in B tier. Um, because at least he comes with some, some decent effects, some decent, some decent accessories, and uh, it's not a totally unwanted look for Deadpool. So, here's a figure, a character who um, uses body mold twice so far, um, and it's the Falcon. And Falcon looks great; he really does. He looks like a really good figure, and he is a good figure. He definitely makes good usage of these uh, butterfly joints and stuff. But the problem is, Falcon is a big man. Falcon is—he was Captain America for one, um, but he. He's best buds with Steve Rogers, and him and Steve Rogers are very oftenly drawn very close to the same size. Falcon's listed at six foot two and two thirty, two forty. Really big, beefy, big, beefy dude. Um, and you know, maybe I'm not saying put him on the Grim Reaper body, but put him on 
um, Spider UK body or now the Vulcan body would be a lot better for Falcon than the 2099 body. Um, even Sun, even uh, Bucky Cap would have been better, I guess. But uh, he Falcon makes great use of the articulation of his body, and he looks really good on the shelf. They haven't really given us the version of Falcon we really want, the classic look, but they gave us two nice versions of Falcon. This one here is the modern one. The it, it's, he looks like this. He looks somewhat like somewhat like this during the Civil War, and then on some recent cartoons and stuff. I'll put him C tier though. He's not quite as egregiously um, outscaled as like Vision and uh, Silver Surfer are, but he is a little bit too small for Falcon. But again, he's a flying character that helps relieve that a little bit. But um, really, he should be slightly taller. Um, unfortunately, here's a figure I wanted so bad. This is a guy who would totally go S tier if they gave him some accessories. But this is Speedball from the New Warriors. Um, and with Speedball, there's another issue. Um, he, Speedball might have worked better on the um, Pizza Spider body, maybe. Um, sometimes he's drawn pretty, pretty skinny, like skinnier than Spider-Man sometimes. But other times he's drawn fairly muscular, so this isn't inaccurate, just maybe not the preferred look for Speedball. Um, and then the fact he has no accessories at all really brings him down. Um, so unfortunately, Speedball, while he should be one of these top three tiers here, he's going C tier because of his lack of accessories and the maybe wrong choice of a body mold for him um but yeah yeah speedball is definitely a disappointing figure he looks really cool though he looks really cool just without any accessories i mean he really should have had a, a crazier head some open hands some speed balls with my speedball figure there are gonna be uh speed balls with on this speedball action figure are there but no there's not unfortunately so speedball is going c tier <sighs> getting back to spider-man or should i say scarlet spider we have kane the scarlet spider um and Kane, when he was just Kane, he was like six foot five, six foot four, um, really big, big dude. Um, but when he became Scarlet Spider, he got smaller, it seemed like. Um, this body mold might be good for him. Maybe he should be on something slightly taller. Um, but, I mean, he's, he's perfectly fine. Good figure. I sold mine. Not really a, a, a look for Kane I want. I'd much rather, have a, much rather have a 90s Kane. But I'll put Kane in, uh, in B tier, I think. Not a bad figure by any means, so we will go there. Getting back to characters who've been in this volume multiple times. We have Silver Surfer again. And this is the other Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer with uh, Mjolnir, the, what's, is it the Fallen Silver, Silver Surfer. Um, and he's, you know, the same issues as the other Silver Surfer, too small. Um, but uh, he has different effect, accessories, but eh, he's, he's just way too small for Silver Surfer once again. And it's really unfortunate. <laughs> so next up, this is a character who, if you go by listed heights, okay, um, he's too short. But if you go by drawn heights, he's sometimes accurate. Um, so the way I consider scale here is um, you don't just go by what they're listed at. You go you, you you go by their listed height in combination with how they're drawn in the comics, and you come to a conclusion like what makes sense for this character, you know, and 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 how you know what's the middle ground here. If there's if it says they're six five on the in the in the handbook, but it's but on the page it shows them being shorter than someone who's six two, then they're probably you know. Maybe at most put him at six two or six three. Um, but Moon Knight here, he's listed as six foot two, sometimes six foot three. But when he stands next to characters like the Punisher, who are listed as six one, but usually drawn at like six two or six three, um, he's usually drawn way smaller. And so Moon Knight is really not inaccurately scaled. So honestly, Moon Knight, I'm gonna go A tier with him because he could technically be taller. But really, I mean, he's he's pretty fine, and he has new arms and new lower legs, and or new you know lower arms and new lower legs, and I think he's a perfectly fine figure. I think he's a perfectly fine figure. He's not, like, blowing my socks off, but he's pretty good. Um, actually, yeah, A tier is fine for him just because he may have a, a skill discrepancy, but really, it's fine with me, the height that he's at. Um, especially because, you know, put him next to Punisher. Yeah, and th their crossover is always smaller than Punisher, so a Punisher figure being bigger than him makes sense. Next up is the Human Torch, once again. Still a uh, not-on-fire Human Torch. We have the, the other retro Human Torch the, in the suit. And I get same thing as before. Maybe not have been the right choice for Human Torch, but it's not bad. It's not you know um yeah because it's, because of the better costume i'm gonna put this one b tier um but if it was the same the, the same issues as the previous one just better costume choice so it makes him a little bit slightly better go from fire to ice we have Iceman, and uh Iceman, crazy his listed height is only five foot eight and that seems too short i can, I can see that being his height when he first debuted and he was a teenager in the 60s but he's definitely gotten taller than five foot eight he's about spider-man height, probably five ten five eleven um so I think he's fine on his body. Just this figure, this figure sucks. It's just not a good figure. Bad head sculpt, very bad coloring for the for the ice on him. He should have some blue hues, um, and less of this yellowy 
white color. Um, so honestly, Iceman will go. He'll go D tier just because he's not a good figure. If he was better, if he looked, if he was a better figure, he'd be bet he'd be higher. This is a good choice for him, and he has no accessories at all, just from fists and a really crappy ice slide that is like useless and is closer to the color of Iceman that we actually want. So uh, yeah, he goes D tier for sure. Um, absolute D tier garbage figure. Um, next up, we going back to Spider Man. This time we got Ben Riley Spider Man. We had Scarlet Spider earlier here with Kane. Here's the other clone, Ben Riley, and. I don't own this figure. I, my preferred costume for Ben Riley is the Scarlet Spider costume. It makes him stand out from Spider-Man more. But I like this costume. I, don't get me wrong. This is a really cool costume. It's just not my preferred um, look for Ben Riley. But I'm sure he's perfectly fine. I'll go A tier with him, right? I think he's going to be a. Uh, I think he's perfectly fine. Figure um, is on the same. So far, all three retro spiders, uh, retro Spider-Man bodies on this list have been A tier. So we'll we'll keep that trend going with uh, Ben Riley here. Let's bring back up my boy Falcon again, and same thing as before. So same rating, uh, just a different costume. People who don't know this, this people think this costume is a retro costume. It's not. It's in the retro wave. But this costume is actually from about 2000, late 2000, like 2009, 2010, 2011. Um, he wore this costume when he was on the Heroes for Hire for a short time alongside Moon Knight and Ghost Rider and Punisher. Other characters, Spider-Man, I think, was on the Heroes for Hire then too. Um, but yeah, I'll put him in C tier for the same reasons before. Um, just an even less iconic costume than the other ones. So um, we really need a, a classic, a classic Falcon. Uh, this Falcon goes with my... Uh, my uh, street level character shelf, by the way. Um, the other Falcon is the Avengers for now, but if we get an actual classic Falcon, I'll go with the that one will go with Shield or something. Anyways, getting off track. Yeah, so Falcon's a C tier. Bring up a villain. We haven't had a villain in a while. This is Ulysses Claw, and perfectly fine. Uh, came with a Blast Effect accessory, and he actually works for him, like that sound wave with bubbles. I think it works for Claw. Um, nothing mind blowing but way better than the, than the claw before him i think he has a nose though and claw shouldn't have a nose i think that was part of the issue with this figure um but no perfectly fine i'll put him a tier so here's another deadpool um it's another x-men deadpool on top of it but this one's the one with the x-men like yellow and black jumpsuit with x-men sprayed across like spray paint on his chest and he came with a madcap head which i get why he came with a madcap head because deadpool and madcap had like were like madcap was like absorbed into deadpool at one point but uh, no it's just dumb Madcap deserves his own figure release when we're going to get him. Um, and this costume of Deadpool, I think it was like a one issue long thing. And it really didn't need to be in this wave. I think we had four Deadpools in that wave. That's ridiculous. And um, yeah, no one really wanted this X-Men Deadpool as far as I can tell. Maybe people did, I don't know. But for me, it's going C tier. It's not a bad figure. It's just one I never wanted. So I don't, I don't, I own the Madcap head though. But yeah, no, no, uh, no X-Men Deadpool for this guy. Going back to this body's namesake. Here is the second Sunfire to use the Sunfire body. This is the Age of Apocalypse Sunfire. Age of Apocalypse Sunfire is arguably even better than the original Sunfire. So he's definitely going S tier. Um, great effects, great accessories. I think he's the best um, fire character that uses this body. Uh, even, if you have, even if you have a 616 display, AOA Sunfire would fit into that. Because when he was a Horseman of Apocalypse, he looked just like his AOA look. So if you don't have Age of Apocalypse Sunfire, I highly recommend getting that figure. Um, I like it a lot. And Sunfire is definitely an S tier Next up, we have the Astonishing Ant-Man. And this is a figure I don't own either. Um, because it's a more modern look of Scott Lang. I, I love his early 2000s Scott Lang look. That'd be cool. We have a little tiny, like, one-inch tall one. That'd be cool to have a, a full-size figure of that. Um, and nothing wrong with it. I think it's perfectly fine. Again, could use could use some accessories or something. Um, I'll put it B tier because lack of accessories. In fact, I don't own it. Um, but uh, And don't want to own it. Nothing wrong with the figure, though. I, I promise you there's nothing wrong with it. It's just nothing I want to own, so... Let's hit the well one more time with this guy, uh, Silver Surfer. This is the HasLab Silver Surfer this time, not released yet. But it's very clear it's in the same body mold as the other Silver Surfers. So he's going to go S tier. I mean, I mean, not S tier, D tier. The whole opposite end of the spectrum here. Um, I like his head sculpt better, though. It's a couple of Galactus as an accessory, basically. I mean, it's cool. It's just not, again, scale issue. It's, it's, too, it's too small for Silver Surfer, and it's really disappointing for me. Um, so he goes D tier, unfortunately, and I'm sure it's going to ruffle some people's feathers. I think I'm pretty sure people are really going to hate me for putting Vision and Silver Surfer both on the same level as Iceman. Um, but that's how I feel. And that's how I, that's how it is. They're they're not great figures for me. Um, then we have Havoc, and we've gotten three Havocs from Hasbro, and you know one from Toy Biz, and um, the first two. One was a more modern ha uh, Havoc from the uh, like the Marvel Now era, and the other one was the '90s X Factor Havoc. Both of those guys made pretty high rankings in my Bucky Cap body video. And then all of a sudden they put Havoc on a different body mold. Just like Vision earlier, they put him on Bucky Cap usually and then put him on this body out of nowhere. But, you know, honestly, it works. Havoc is uh, only six foot tall. He's a lot shorter than his brother Cyclops, so he works in this body mold. Um, 
he might work slightly better on, on, on Bucky Cap than he does on Sunfire. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not egregious. It's not egregious or anything. I, I like it. And having the butterfly joints to help bring his arms forward for to use his effects, that's good. Um, that's my favorite look of, of Havoc, too, on top of it. He could have used an alternate head, though, and the ring around and the, the, the brace around his neck. But, you know, he doesn't always have it, so it's okay. Um, but great, great effects with Havoc. So I'm going to go A tier with Havoc. I like him a lot. Um, yeah, definitely a really cool um, Marvel Legend there. Then we have Superior Octopus. Um, Superior Octopus also has a different body. It's kind of weird, like a different torso, but it has the same arms and legs. Um, but it's weird, like this is something that's only used one time. They never use this body mold, that, that torso again. And it's really odd, but it's a really nice figure. For a figure I don't even own, I owned it, didn't like, you know, it's not a story that I particularly like, so I didn't keep it. But it's honestly a really, really good figure. And even though I don't own it and had no plans to own it again, um, I think it's going to go in S tier because it's really, it's a really standout figure. And it's, that means a lot for me to put a figure that I don't even own or want to own in S tier. Um, it's, this is really, really great looking. So, um, Superior Octopus, you know, if you're a fan of the modern stories and you like Superior Octopus, definitely buy Superior Octopus. Next up from a three pack, we have Quicksilver and Quicksilver. Again, he's got guys five foot 10. He's like the bright size for this body mold. Um, only problem with him is his head's kind of big, <laughs> and he really could have better Quicksilver hair. His hair looks like he's running, which is fine, but it'd be nice to have an alternate head where he's not running, so his little, like, weird, uh, I don't know what you'd call those, hair horns, <laughs> um, would, uh, stand out, um, but, you know, he's fine. Um, really hoping we get a, a redo of, a, a repaint of this guy in green, and then, uh, maybe in black and white, um, and maybe an AOA version, you know, but this blue Quicksilver, very classic, very Avengers. I'll put him in put him in b tier just because of the head sculpt if it was if there was um a different head sculpt he'd go higher for sure i like the quicksilver I have, I have two of them so i think he's a really good figure then we have the brand new not currently released yet um renew your vow spider-man technically nothing is reused on this guy technically um from from some fire body just because he has all pinless pinless joints now but you know i mean come on it's, it's still the same sculpt just without the the pins so he's gonna go s tier it's definitely gonna be the best fireman figure of all time i haven't have it in hand yet we just, we just know it's gonna be amazing so um yeah he's definitely s tier all right so next up on my list here should we go another fire themed character let's go with fire lord i mentioned fire lord earlier fire lord and the silver surfer are both six foot five and they both should be on the same body mold which both should be taller so he's gonna join his herald of galactus ally or friend um sometimes enemy whatever his co-herald of galactus will put them both in d tier and it's really disappointing i want a fire lord figure for so many years we finally get one and he's on this body mold that's way too small for him at least silver surfer we know like he'll get another figure eventually he's a popular character fire lord is his first ever marvel legend and this is how this is how we do him my boy they're massacring my boy man but yeah fire lord unfortunately is d tier there's a figure that I personally am not a fan of because it's just a one-story thing. Um, a lot of people love it. It's a standout-ish 90s Marvel story. It's Cyborg Spider-Man. Um, it's perfectly fine. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's just nothing for me. It's a one-off story look. I'm not really ever a fan of that. But I'll put him in A, in a tier. He's, you know, perfectly perfectly passable. Um, yeah, I if I liked the that story more, maybe I'd be more inclined to get it. But yeah, he's, he's A. I don't know what else to say. Then we'll go another fire guy, a human torch. This is now the all fully flamed on retro human torch. Um, and I have a huge issue with this figure. So unlike Iceman, who turns into ice, like Iceman turns into physical ice. So he should be clear. The human torch just engulfs himself in flame. So he should not be clear. He should not be see-through because the Johnny Storm is still underneath all that fire. Meaning, like, you shouldn't be able to see through Johnny. You should be, you know, Johnny should just be totally covered in fire. Does that make sense? Like, the flames coming off him can be translucent. That's fine. But they actually painted those opaque. <laughs> and so, yeah, the Human Torch really, really, if you want to make a good Human Torch figure, he should be an opaque color with translucent fire on top of that. And, yeah, um, that really bums me out. However, I use this figure for the Android Human Torch. I took the Marvel Select head and put it on his body, and it fits perfectly. It's great. Um... But even he should also be opaque because this is also a android underneath that fire. Um, but yeah, so uh, unfortunately, I'll put Human Torch in C tier here. Um, he's really kind of disappointing. I was, we really need an opaque Human Torch. I know I'm in the minority there because most people think he turns into fire. He doesn't turn into fire. He catches on fire. So there you go for people who didn't know. Now you know. 
If you don't know, now you know. So, um, yeah, Human Torch uh, C tier. Going up, way up. This is basically a re-release of the Sasquatch Wave Deadpool. But this time on a retro card in retro 90s colors. Which you can argue maybe it's the shading made in this color. Maybe he's black, blue, or who knows. But anyways, I this is my favorite Deadpool in my collection. This is my X-Force villain Deadpool. And he comes with more accessories. He has some guns. Um, that's nice. Would have, maybe alternate head would have been cool. Maybe some alternate hands would have been cool. But no, it's fine. He goes A tier. He's not S tier. Because he's not like mind-blowingly amazing. But he's really good. Um, and yeah, if maybe, you know, again, Deadpool's slightly taller than the rest of the, most of the people in his body mold. So he could have been a little bit taller. Maybe he could have been on a different body. But he's perfectly fine as is. I, I like him as on this body. I like him as a, as a figure. And I like he has more accessories. I still only use katanas anyways. But... The fact that he has guns to use is such an improvement over the previous Deadpools that uh, yeah, he gets A tier. To go on a super positive note, we have Shang-Chi. I know I always thought it was Shang-Chi too, but it's Shang-Chi. And Shang-Chi easily is S tier. He is arguably, arguably the best usage of this body mold ever. This body mold has an issue where the, the shoulders are really low. So it looks like you know, they're, 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 it looks like they're slumping their shoulders. It's very, it kind of ruins the superhero physique. But Shang-Chi and Falcon, but Shang-Chi introduced these brand new, bigger shoulders that made him look so much better. That improved like the only, like, one of the only, one of the only flaws this body mold had. And they still has that pregnant belly looking thing and, and the elbow, elbows don't bend very far. But it's the biggest issue was the shoulders and Shang-Chi fixed that. On his release. They didn't really use it much after that. Except for on Falcon. Um, but yeah. Shang-Chi. A great looking figure. He's the right height. Shang-Chi is 5'10". Um, has a ton of hands. Some nunchuck accessories. Would have been cool if he came with his little gi to go over top. But that's fine. He is. And that's not a complaint. It's just an extra bonus they could have done. But no. He's a fantastic figure. And Shang-Chi. Absolutely. Must have. Um, figure on this body mold. I cannot express it enough. Shang-Chi is a fantastic figure. Who is not a fantastic figure though. Going down to D tier is another fire guy. We got Pyro. Um, he's the right height, but if you've ever seen a comic book, <laughs> Pyro is drawn like super, super skinny. Like he's drawn like a bean pole. Like he is thin. If any character should have been on the on the pizza spidey body mold, it is Pyro. Um, otherwise, like, he looks great. Great paint job. Uh, Two awesome head sculpts. I like it. They, they did a really good job with his shoulder harness and his backpack. Um, no, I mean, he has fireball effects, but they're awful. He should have come with way better effects than that. Um, but yeah, he's a D tier um, uh, Sunfire body mold figure. And it's really unfortunate because I was wanting a new pyro for so long, and this is what we got. He really should be on the Pizza Spidey body, which blows my mind to say that because this, this mold is better than the Pizza Spidey. Don't get, it, don't, get me, don't get me wrong. Like every figure on this list is better than almost every almost every figure on this list is almost better than every pizza spidey figure almost it's not like it's not a quick a, a, a exact science there but most of the time um which by the way i need to go back and redo my pizza spidey video now because my opinion has changed on the best spider-man now so I, I need to go back and do that i need to finish off the spider uk body maybe do some female body molds and then go back to pizza spidey and edit that because uh opinions have definitely changed um but let me know what you guys thought about this tier ranking video did i forget anybody i doubt it but did i let me know in the comments below. Uh, yell at me for putting your favorite figure in D tier. I can take it. Come on, give it to me. Uh, <laughs> or am I stupid for my are my choices for S tier like bad? You know, we can go over them all real quick, uh, really quick. So down in D tier, which for this ranking is the bottom tier, these are the worst figures that use this body mold. We have Despair. We have uh, Spider Man PS4, Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer, Retro Vision. Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer again, but this time in the Fallen colors. Retro Iceman, Haslab Silver Surfer, Fire Lord, and Pyro. In C tier, which is not a bad figure, but just could have been better figure. Um, and then and, and then Webman, who's just an unwanted character. So Webman, um, the modern black costume, Fantastic Four, Human Torch, uh, Falcon, the the uh, I'll just call it the Civil War era costume, even though it's not technically. Speedball. Um, Retro Falcon, who's really uh, Heroes for Hire Falcon. Deadpool in the X-Men training uniform with the Madcap head. And Retro Flame Dawn Human Torch. In B tier, figures that are also good, but maybe could have been 
just a little bit better um, with, it, with just some accessories or just some slight alteration. Um, we have Sasquatch Wave Deadpool. We have the White Spider-Man 2099 from All New All Different. Age of Apocalypse Morph. The Scroll Infiltrator Army Builder. X-Men Deadpool, but in the blue X-Men costume. Scarlet Spider Kane. Retro Human Torch Flamed Off version. The Astonishing Ant-Man. And uh, Quicksilver from the, Family, from the Family Matters 3-pack. In A tier, we have Retro Symbiote Spider-Man. North Star from the Alpha 5-pack. Uh, Retro Spider-Man from the first Retro Spider-Man wave. Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight. Sensational Spider-Man Ben Riley from the second uh, Spider-Man retro wave. Ulysses Claw from the Black Panther Claw 2-pack. The Shuri Black Panther Claw 2-pack. Havoc. Classic Havoc from the Bonebreaker wave. Cyborg Spider-Man. Retro carded Deadpool. And then S tier, we have Sunfire. We have Bullseye. Living Laser, Age of Apocalypse Sunfire, Superior Spider-Man, the not yet released, but soon will be, Renew Your Vows, Peter Parker Spider-Man, and arguably the best usage of the Sunfire body period, up here in S tier, Shang-Chi. So if you have any recommendations for other videos for me to do, let me know in the comments down below. I will I will gladly do um, comic book tier rankings, um, action figure tier rankings. Uh, I, 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 I like the idea of maybe doing a uh, toy line ranking different toy lines that'd be cool um still working on my uh tier ranking uh, action figure influencers video a couple more people to watch to do research on before i can finish this video but yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace